and now there are 12! <laughs> Welcome to our special jam-packed hour all about what else? American, American Idol. Idol! Of course, it's going to be quite a night. I'm Justin Moraney, runner-up from Season 1 Idol. And I'm Kimberly Caldwell from Season 2 of American Idol. Justin and I are going to be backstage bringing you the exclusive interviews of the new Top 12. Only on TV Guide Network, of course. America's, America's TV, TV Headquarters. Let me know. Now, while you guys are inside, I'm actually going to have the red carpet covered, and I'll be interviewing the judges and the stores that come on the red carpet mm -hmm. and, the store, and linking their face. I'm just kidding. I won't Absolutely be linking their faces. <laughs> Try to contain yourself. Come on. <laughs> All right, everybody. Now let's find out how this fierce competition made its way from a pavilion people. A pavilion. To a pavilion. Yes. To the lucky 12. 16 contestants sang their hearts out this week, hoping to avoid the elimination round Thursday. But now only 12 remain. One of these lucky finalists will be the next American Idol. Twenty-three-year-old Amanda Overmeyer's rock influences are loud and clear, but can she prove to the judges she's not a one-trick pony? I can't tell you why, but Brooke White from Mesa, Arizona, says her game plan is to just be herself. Judge Randy Jackson called her the best vocal of the top 24, but will Carly Smithson keep her edge in the top 12? Yo, Carly, you keep smashing it every week, man. Performing is in his blood. 17-year-old David Archuleta's mother is a singer and his father is a jazz trumpet player. Australian native Michael Johns came to the States in 98 on a tennis scholarship, but fans love watching his soulful performances on American Idol. 20-year-old Jason Castro is from Texas, but this kid is no cowboy. Uh, I thought it was absolutely brilliant what you just did, Jason. Loved it. There were moments of cold in the David Hernandez is already in a couple of bands, but how far will his solo act go in the final 12? Good old boy David Cooks released a solo album, but he still traveled from Tulsa to Omaha for the opportunity to be the next idol. Chickeasy Easy says he'll stay true to his personal style, both vocally and visually. The last note kind of looked like it surprised you and me too, but I thought it was, I thought it was really good though. When she was 14, crooner Christy Lee Cook opened for country legend Glenn Campbell. At 17, she signed with Britney Spears' production company. Could her next stop be American Idol winner? Maybelline Mullabai is an ex-waitress turned triple threat. The 20-year-old from Florida plays piano, guitar, and has one impressive set of pipes. And Saisha Mercado appeared on the short-lived TV show The One, making a music star. Does this 21-year-old songbird have what it takes to go all the way on American Idol? You'll just have to wait and see. All right, right now we're going to take it over to Justin Guarini, who's got one of the Idol finalists. Justin, what's going on? Thank you, Rosie. Check back with you in a few. With me now, Jason Castro. What's up, man? Nothing much. Yeah, you having a good time? I am. How does it feel to be part of the coveted Top 12? It feels great. I mean, it's just quite the accomplishment. I mm -hmm. feel good. Yeah. Yeah, the now, are you getting used to all these interviews yet? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Why do you have to bring it up? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm that's doing good. That's I, good. That's good. But that's part of your charm, you know. You have played a lot of guitar. How important to you is the fact that they included instruments this year? I mean, I think it was instrumental. Oh. <laughs> no <laughs> but I don't think I would have even auditioned. I don't know, like singing is really like a new thing to me. And just really? playing guitar and singing kind of went hand in hand for me as I learned, you know, the last couple of years. And so, I don't know, it just gave me a little more confidence where I don't think I could have just jumped out there without it. Now tell me, how long did all this take? Well, I haven't cut my hair in about five years. Five, five years? So yeah. And, nice, uh, you got a little pink strand in there? Yeah, that one's, that one's fake. They put it in really? today. It's it cool. the only it's, fake one. The it's only breast fake cancer one. awareness. I get yeah. it. It's cool. matching my shirt. Now, now, how do you feel about your style? Um, like, you know, has, has there been a big style change since you've been on Idol? No. <laughs> I think. I mean, I think this, my style has been kind of building its way up my whole life, and I don't know. I think. I don't know. It's just me. It's just me at, it's, awesome. it's at the most. Awesome. <laughs> we'll keep working it, man. All right. Back to you, Kim. What you got? 
All right, thanks, Kim. I am here with, now, you're going to have to pronounce it because I have been guilty, like most of America, of okay. butchering your first name. Ramiel Malubai. Ramiel. Ray That's all we want to know. Malubai, I get. Ramiel. How's it, how's, how's it feel having to pronounce your name for everybody? It's okay. Ryan has that phonetics thing going on, so I mean, it's okay. I'll get, I'll get America to say it right. You just called out Ryan Seacrest. You, you told his secret <laughs> on TV. So he has it. In the, in the teleprompter, he has it phonetically spelled out? Yeah, sorry, Ryan. Uh, it's okay. So now tell me, how does it feel to finally be here after weeks and weeks? It's still kind of surreal. I don't really like It's not hitting me quite yet. So. Really? Yeah, even with all that, it's not hitting me quite yet. That's cool. Now tell me, how do you plan to really make your mark on the top 12 here? Um, I, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and, you know, just keep getting better and better. Take whatever Simon says and, you know, whatever everybody else is telling me. Just take it as good criticism. Right. Now, Simon has said you kind of lost a little bit of your confidence. Do you feel that that's right? I guess I was just thinking, letting things get to me, you know. I'm just going to keep blocking out stuff. Now, what kind of music do you gravitate? If you can put out an album right now, what kind of music would you put out? R&B, soul. Nice. Not a shock at all. Not a shock. Well, you're absolutely cute as a button. Thank you. Thank you so much. All the best of luck to you, all right? And the excitement continues from our exclusive tent where TV Guide is getting the first interviews with the newly crowned Top 12. Plus, we'll be visiting some of the Idol contestants' fashion hits and misses. It's all coming up next.